just testing out the new Reebok Nano 6.0s. We got hooked up at the gym here, CrossFit 305, with new Nanos for the coaches. Uh, I've been testing them out. I'm gonna test it out on some of the main sort of things you look for in a CrossFit shoe, at least what I think. I'm gonna do a wad, handstand push-ups, rope climbs, some weightlifting, some strength training, some running, six things. So I actually did a workout in them, and this workout was interesting because I've done the same exact workout a couple weeks ago in the Nike Metcon. It's a nine minute AMRAP that has uh, power snatches and box jumps. I did it in the Metcon, I've done about four and a half rounds before. Did it today, and I did five rounds. Can't say that it was solely because of the Nanos, but they definitely were comfortable. The Nanos felt really good doing the power snatches, and they felt really comfortable doing the box jumps. Sometimes with the Metcons, when I land, uh, jump off the box, I feel a shock. With the Nanos, it definitely felt a lot more comfortable. Uh, made it through the whole workout. My feet were like the least of my problems. It was exhaustion. All right, handstands. Uh, just did some handstand push-ups as a test. The Nano 6.0 uh, totally felt smooth. I actually watched the footage back and saw that my heel was um, sort of sticking and I didn't even feel it. Handstand push-ups, thumbs up. Rope climbs. I'll be honest, I don't really feel much difference. Uh, I feel like with rope climbs, if you have a good foot lock technique, uh, you can kind of do any shoe. I mean, I was able to lock my foot in, stand up, and kind of just stand around there. But it uh, didn't really feel much difference with any other shoes, but uh, it wasn't bad. I'll just say it wasn't bad. So, rope climbs, shoes felt pretty good. I am surprised how good these actually feel at running. Definitely better than the Nano 4s I had. Better than the Metcons. I've tried different styles of running because I'm working on my running technique, so I tried heel striking, kind of the style we all, a lot of us do. It actually felt really comfortable. Shouldn't feel comfortable. And then I tried four foot striking, which uh, felt a little bit uh, a little bit off, but that could just be my uh, running style that I'm still working on. They're not running shoes, none of these shoes are running shoes, but out of um, all the CrossFit shoes that I've tried, which isn't that many, these felt the best at running. Coach Jeff. That's right. What's your opinion of the Nano 6 as a, as a Nano aficionado? I think they're pretty amazing, to be quite honest with you. They feel good, man. They feel like the twos and threes. And uh, I wasn't a big fan of the fours and fives, so. That was about the limit. Uh, that was 235. No, that was 225. 225 was like iffy. 195 felt, felt surprisingly good from not wearing lifters and wearing the nanos. As far as strength training goes, uh, if you're doing lighter weights, uh, pretty good. Uh, if you're doing heavier sets, you want lifters. You squatted in the shoe? Yeah, yeah, so I initially didn't think the squat was that good, but I'm um, changing my tune a little bit. How heavy did you go? Uh, about 85%, so it felt pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, I think obviously lifters are a little better, but these feel pretty good for... Uh, yeah, once, once I got past 100 pounds, I was like, lifters would feel good, but I was surprised how good it felt at 195. Yeah, and everything, else, good. everything else feels pretty good. Just some power cleans. How are the power cleans? Uh, you did. I mean, you know. What do you have? For what, 2 0? Yeah, yeah, same thing. 205? About 80, 80, 85%. Yeah. Actually, it's about 50% of my <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did power cleans, maybe 75% of I mine, and I didn't feel. The it, most, felt, it felt good. It felt like surprisingly good for not being lifters. The most surprising one was the running. It feels yeah. really good yeah. running in these. Yeah. So, I was, yeah, I was surprised about the running. That's kind of good. Yeah. Good shoes. Double thumbs up. <laughs> So that was a quick review of the Reebok Nano 6.0s. Uh, they dropped today, July 7th. Hope you found it useful. We've only had them for a day or two, so it's only so much we can really run them through and test it out. But overall, they felt really good. Uh, if you don't have any CrossFit shoes, these are awesome, really solid shoes. If you have the 4 or 5s, these are definitely an improvement. If you have older shoes, you should probably upgrade because your shoes are probably really old. Uh, if you have the Nike Metcons, um, walking around day to day, uh, I find the Metcons more comfortable. I have a standing desk at work at my other job, and the Metcons are a lot more solid and just standing around. Uh, I find them really comfortable. But, uh, I mean, these aren't uh, standing shoes, so I don't hold it against the Nano for that. They're, they're, they both have their pros and cons, so uh, 
I definitely give them a try out. Uh, they're a lot better at some things, and then some other things, the Nanos, I find a little better, a little more solid on uh, slightly heavier lifting. Overall, Nanos were really impressive, really impressive with running. I felt pretty solid with weightlifting, really good on uh, jumping, box jumps, uh, very smooth and handstand push-ups. So overall, a really solid shoe. Hope you found this review useful. Uh, subscribe for more stuff like this and more other interesting videos. If you're in the Miami area ever, drop by CrossFit 305, CrossFit A1A, Sterling Road CrossFit. Thanks for watching. If you order them from Dick's Sporting Goods and you're in the Miami area, there is a deal with CrossFit 305. Uh, details in the description below.